Hi everyone! In this tutorial you're going to learn about how to import motions into 3D Exchange without a base T-pose and refine them for use on your iClone standard or non-standard characters. For this example I'm taking some free BVH motions that I obtained from this free motion capture blog. Check it out! Okay so let's get right into 3D Exchange and what I'm going to do first is open my first BVH motion here, a slipping on ice motion. You'll see that my motion skeleton will appear after I open it and I can play back to review the animation. Whoops! Now in the motion library on the right, I can import in my other motion and just double click on that one to preview it as well. Everything looks good so far, but the only problem is that we don't have an actual T-pose yet, which is required for correct animation results. Therefore, I can't convert to a non-standard character yet as I don't have my T-pose as a reference. So let's create one then. I'm going to select my waving motion and then switch to orthogonal view, which is ideal for setting up the T-pose due to its ability to view from absolute angles. Next, I want to move the timeline to a random point during the animation. If I select convert to non-standard right now, the bones will keep this pose after entering into the characterize mode, which isn't what I want, so I'll cancel that for now. I want to select my motion again and go to a point where the pose seems fairly symmetrical and can be more easily modified into a T-pose. Now I can select the convert to non-standard button and choose the Maya Human IK bone mapping template, which is what these motions are based on. You'll see that all the bones will be mapped right away. Okay, now to set up my T-pose. The first thing I want to do is rotate my arms outwards to form the T, and make sure that all of my arm sections run parallel to the ground plane. You'll essentially want your rotate gizmos red and green X and Y axes to be at a 90 degree angle according to the world grid in the orthogonal front view. The same thing goes with the top view. Make sure the arms are completely straight with no curves. Ok, once all that's set up, we can select the active box and preview an embedded 3D exchange motion. This basic walk looks ok, so I'll go back to select the T-pose and convert the character and motions based on the current T-pose. After the conversion, the two tracks in the motion library have now been converted to iMotion files. So let's check out what they look like on real characters. I'll select this wave motion and then apply to iClone. This utilizes the AppLink feature to give you a preview in iClone. This will immediately preview the motion on my selected character in iClone, as you see here. You'll notice right away that her shoulders seem a little bit higher than normal. This is the result of the custom T-pose, but can easily be adjusted. I'll select my other motion and preview it on my other character, and you'll be able to see the same result. The shoulders are just unnaturally high. In part 2 of this tutorial, you'll find out how to fix this by adjusting the T-pose further and using the app link feature between 3D Exchange and iClone.